In this video, we will show you how to use the SEPA module in SFM. After our team gets you up and running with the SEPA module for your SFM system, and after your supplier's bank accounts have been configured to take SEPA payments by default, you will be able to post SEPA payments in your system. Here's how to do it. We begin by inserting a SEPA payment type in our purchases window. We can go to postings and then payments. When entering this posting, be sure to select SEPA under payment. For SEPA payments, we recommend formatting your external references in a way that will help you compare this payment with future bank reconciliation runs. All posted SEPA payments to suppliers are found in the SEPA module under the Pending Payments tab. From here, we can prepare our SEPA file. To load transactions onto a SEPA file, choose the Load Transactions onto SEPA file button here. In this window, select your SEPA bank account. The date we choose here will pull up all pending payments, which we can tag and select for the file. When ready, click Update or Control u on your keyboard. The system will then take you to the SEPA tab, where we can then export the transactions onto a SEPA file. To do this, click on Export Transaction to SEPA file here in the sidebar. For the effective date, choose a date on which the payments should be processed by the bank. Enter an export directory that best suits you, and then click OK to generate the SEPA file. SFM will produce the SEPA file and place it in the location you directed. You can then send this file to your bank. We want to stress that you should not send remittances to your suppliers nor archive the SEPA file before your bank confirms that they have processed the transfers. Only when you receive confirmation that your SEPA file has been processed with your bank can you then finalize the file. After that, you can archive it. To finalize the SEPA file, select the file and then click Finalize SEPA File. You will see that the tag next to the file will change from P, meaning processed, to F, finalized. When the bank has finalized your SEPA file, you can then proceed to generate remittances for your suppliers. To do this, click on the Finalize SEPA File and then click Print and then Remittance. You have the option to print the remittance or to run it through your eReports module. In the eReports module, you have the choice to mail and or print the remittances to each of your suppliers. Click the Mail and Print buttons at the top of the window to distribute your remittances. Here are some useful reports you can use while running SEPA payments in SFM. You can create a summary report on pending SEPA transactions by opening the SEPA module and, while in the Pending Transactions tab, click the Print button. Here is a preview of such a report. A more detailed report is available in the SEPA tab and under the Transaction sub-tab. When you are ready to archive the file, click the Archived Process SEPA Files button here. You can then review your finalized SEPA files by going here in the SEPA Module submenu and then clicking on Archive. And this is how you can use the SEPA Module for payments on a regular basis. We have links posted in the description of this video that will help you further with the SEPA Module in SFM. Thanks for watching. I will see you in another video.